wrestling fans, thanks for clicking today's Dreaded D. Rose report. More silliness. Hey, uh, after Raw ended last night, Sheamus came out uh, for a dark match against CM Punk. Punk uh, still was laid out from uh, Ryder. So Sheamus woke him up by pouring water on him. Then the match was interrupted by Cicero, Big Show, Ziggler, Cody Rhodes, Damian Sandow. They beat Sheamus down until the Ryback's music hit. And then uh, Ryback, Sheamus, cleaned house to end the show. Ooh. All right, the match was, uh, uh, you know, of course, not taped. Hey, happy, happy birthday to CZW uh, Junior Heavyweight Champion Derek Frazier, 32 years old, former Chikara, uh, regular uh, Jimmy Olsen. Not of super band fame, but he was also went by Equinox, 26 years old. One time, ECW World Champion Justin Incredible turns 39. Uh, WSU Hall of Famer Missy Hyatt, 49 years old. And today would have been the birthday of uh, former WCW television champion, Rick Wilson, 47. Don't know who that is. Remember the Renegade? Uh, and on this day, uh, back in 2003, WWE Hall of Famer tag team champion, the legend Road Warrior Hawk, died at the age of only 46. Uh, by the turn of the millennium, though, Hawk was struggling with personal demons and uh, later was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, uh, all of which uh, saw him take nearly a year away from wrestling, and towards the end of his life, Hawk teamed regularly with Animal, appearing once more in WWF uh, uh, E programming uh, before his passing of an apparent heart attack at his home in Florida. All right, this is just out. Hulk Hogan held a press conference this afternoon to announce the legal action he's taken over an unauthorized production to distributing of his infamous tape. And he's looking uh, for over $100 million from parties involved. Hogan's attorney, uh, Dave Houston, uh, said they're uh, suing Gawker.com uh, for $100 million in uh, damages seeking, uh, uh, for leaking the sex footage, the footage of the tape. Uh, damages also sought from Bubba the Love Sponge and Heather Clem were not specified, but uh, their actions are also, uh, they're called illegal, outrageous, exceeds the bounds of human, <laughs> human decency. <laughs> if you've seen the tape, it should be on Hogan for that part. Anyway, Hogan's also looking for uh, BLTS, Gawker.com, and anybody else that has a possession of the time uh, to turn it over to be destroyed as soon as possible. Hogan's uh, legal team will continue to go after anybody else who shares the X-rated movie. You know, it's nothing like being embarrassed about a, uh, let's say, a sex tape you got caught in, and to be on every damn show there is uh, talking about it, letting everybody know what's out there. Don't say nothing about it. Just do whatever you got to do and go on. And if you really don't want to buy a sit, or is he trying to get big money for it? I don't know. Anyway, uh, officials of the WWE Survivor Series synopsis from In Demand confirms, by the way, there's going to be a five versus five match for this year's pay-per-view and uh, begins speculation that maybe CM Punk's going to be involved in that match. Uh, it says uh, from On Demand, that uh, this year the act of survival turns into an all-out quest for total domination and respect. Don't miss the incredible event featuring uh, your favorite WWE superstars competing in a classic five-on-five -five match. And there's also speculation why Rey Mysterio is uh, really out. Uh, story has been that Rey, uh, you know, had a bad case of the flu. He missed uh, last night's Raw, but officials expect him to be back uh, into the ring. The team with Sin Cara maybe next should be next week. Uh, against Sandown Rhodes for the finals in the tag team tournament. Uh, update that uh, the good old Dave Meltzer had uh, reported on that Ray is battling more than just a slight few, a flu uh, that has been mentioned by WWE. Word is that Ray Mysterio is dealing with a really bad stomach virus that kept him in bed. I wouldn't want to be in bed with a real bad stomach virus. I'd rather be in the bathroom sitting on the throne 
All right, last night's uh, episode of Larry King on Hulu featured uh, interviews from Punk Cena's show, Ms. Ryder, that should have been just riveting. <laughs> anyway, Shane McMahon, where the hell's he been? Well, you on demand company in China has signed a new licensing agreement with uh, NBC Universal, and the company's now going to be distributing uh, NBC use movies through their on-demand outlets in China. He's making some big money over there. Of course, if you got big money to make big money, you're going to make some big money. Getting there to begin with uh, is the bad part. Uh, the folks from THQ has been setting up WWE Game 13 stations at Best Buy stores across the country. Stations are currently being set up in about 75 stores with a rollout uh, continuing this week. THQ suggests calling your local store and confirm uh, if they got the thing or not before you go over there. And Jim Ross had high praise for uh, Layla versus Eve Torres on last night's Raw. He said Divas got so much potential they need to continue to maximize their uh, minutes no matter what they may be. <laughs> Wade Barrett. He said the following about Sheamus last night. He said, my face is a tad sore. Uh, after a cheap shot, but uh, I'm not complaining. I'm not a big girl's blouse uh, like most are. I've never heard anybody called a big girl's blouse, but uh, anyway. Uh, FYI, he says, I can fight dirty with uh, the best of them. I just choose not to. Hmm. Hey, Steve Austin noted on Twitter that he's leaving Mexico to return to his Broken Skull Ranch in Texas as they've wrapped up Redneck Island filming. And uh, Redneck Island 2 is going to be premiering on uh, CMT, looks like around November 10th. Tonight's uh, episode of SmackDown TV is going to be taking place at the FedEx Forum in Memphis, Tennessee, confirmed for tonight's show the return of the Lawler, the King, the Jerry, which uh, could end up um, being live, you know, for the, just the crowd there, local crowd only. And uh, we know that JBL is being working commentary tonight. No word yet on... Uh, you know, about the announced matches for um, SmackDown. We just know that Kofi and, and uh, The Miz for the Intercontinental title is scheduled for the main event taping. Uh, Sheamus versus Del Rio versus uh, Big Show in an ODQ match has been advertised locally. After last night's uh, Raw, Big Show had a message for the fans of Sheamus. It says, to all you Sheamus fans, after the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view, I will be accepting your tweets of apology. He who laughs, laughs best. I thought, I don't know. Uh, anyway, WWE is going to be returning to the Bridgestone area, or rather arena in Nashville, Tennessee for a pre-elimination chamber. Uh, Raw, February 11th, pre-sale uh, went on sale last night. And for what it's worth, Chris Jericho told a group of uh, fans at the Journey concert that uh, this past weekend to stay tuned when they ask him about returning to WWE. Apparently his money's already ran out. Or the dates that he had scheduled with uh, Fozzie was, was over with. Uh, Jim Ross noted on Twitter and, and uh, he's scheduled to do Raw November 5th from Birmingham, England. Beth Phoenix is no longer being advertised for next week's Raw from the uh, Izod Center in East Rutherford, New Jersey. So last night may have been her final uh, night with the company. We'll see. I hope not. But she's got better things to do. Guy thing, a guy named Edge. Yeah, she ought to do it. Punk wrote uh, the introduction to Marvel's Avengers vs. X-Men cover um, that comes out November 7th. Punk told USA Today, he says, If I had to describe my writing style, it's very uh, sarcastic and self uh, de uh, deprecating uh, you'll be able to tell it in the forward now yeah. hey WWE Con Camera spoke to O'Neill and Young backstage last night at Raw they mocked uh, Mysterio for being sick and not coming to work primetime players uh, later told um, Scott Stanford that they're back to uh, their winning ways and they have sights set on the titles like everybody does uh, as I noted before, old champion CM Punk is uh, writing the forward to the Avengers thing. Uh, Punk told USA that he's writing his own comic in the future. He said, we've kicked around a couple of ideas. You might be seeing something like that in the future. 
it's uh, it was nothing I ever thought about, uh, you know, until they approached me. In fact, uh, hey, uh, he says you should write a comic book. And it was pretty cool. So somebody suggested to him. Now he's now he's a writer. And WWE Champion Punk is still celebrating Punktober uh, with the uh, forward of the the title uh, or the, doing the uh, forward to the Avenger thing. Uh, his first ever uh, WWE DVD and the cover of uh, WWE 13, Punk has, uh, says he's got another big announcement coming. Got him everywhere, don't they? Uh, oh, by the way, I'm still watching the uh, Punk DVD. I haven't got it through yet, uh, or got, I haven't got done with it yet. It's a long one, but uh, I'm just trying to get the first, uh, through the first uh, hour and 50 minutes of his life. Uh, he's, he's had a rough life. And as seen on last night's Raw, the new name for Heath Slater, Drew McIntyre, Ginger Mahal stable is 3MB, or Three Man Band. So I guess it was too long, too long a word. Or they kept forgetting what the name of the thing was. Uh, there's no before old, uh, WWE is presenting December 15th Rolling Stones concert on pay-per-view. Word is that WWE has been wanting to sell their ability to put on non-wrestling events for some time now, but. Stones concert promoters actually contacted WWE about the new deal. And WWE was participating, uh, or asked to participate, after the success of WrestleMania 28 and after uh, proving that they could turn live events into money makers through pay per views, uh, which might be a good selling, I mean, a good uh, extra income for them. Stop making movies. Hmm. It's been a waste so far. I don't know what I got on my back, but it itches. A uh, WWE Pro Shop is now selling the Austin 316 Collector's Edition of uh, WWE 13 for PS3 and Xbox 360 for $79.99. They're also selling a new $4.99 Daniel Bryan goat face mask. <laughs> I've been wanting to look like a goat for quite a while. I already look like hell. Hey, uh, Matt Stryker, Wrestling Kane on last night's Raw. Scott Stanford uh, handled the backstage WWE app exclusive video. Stanford spoke to uh, Kingston about his, after his nasty double in paradise kick uh, to the Miz and uh, Kofi said kick uh, the kick set the tone for the IC title match against the Miz on Monday night event. I tell you what, Miz got, got his face kicked about off. Stanford uh, also spoke to Stryker after his match. Stryker uh, appeared dazed and confused like the other day, like every day. And he tried to resume the interview duties from uh, Stanford, but uh, uh, before being helped away by the WWE crew. As reported Saturday, uh, this is odd. Hall of Famer Harley Race and his former protege in World Championship Wrestling Vader engaged in a physical altercation at a day's Legend of the Ring convention in uh, Monroe, New Jersey. And according to Rob Feinstein, the witness uh, to the scuffle, tension escalated after Ra uh, Race raised his voice uh, in disapproval with Vader behaving belligerently towards fans. Well, he's always done that. Feinstein wrote on Facebook, Va Vader was in foul mood the entire day, which uh, is typical of him, and he started talking nasty uh, to a few of the fans, and Race uh, didn't approve. Race told Vader not to dis disrespect the fans as they are paying to see him. Well, Vader uh, made a smart-ass remark uh, to uh, Harley, which uh, pissed him off. Harley, who's crippled now, uh, struck Vader in the head with a punch, and then Vader then uh, struck back, but instead he ended up hitting the promoter who was standing uh, you know, nearby. Anyway, the promoter, from what I was told, had to get uh, an ice pack, and Vader walked out of the room. That was basically you know, how it went. He says, I'm shocked that Vader would do such a thing in front of the fans. He said, I was waiting for Paul Hardorf to do a run-in. Hey, thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.